Hi everybody, I'm Argo Funk. This is American Girl Kid Mystery Challenge. In this video, I will tackle mystery number three, the case of the early morning job. Good morning, mother. Good morning, dear. You're up early. Why is it that every time they, they uh, get past the line, the screen flashes? I couldn't sleep! Because of the weird nightmares that are in the walls of my house! Mr. Hugo. Good morning, Mrs. Kittredge. Good morning, Mr. Hugo. Heading out early again? Ah, yes, I'm afraid so. Well then, we'll see you when we see you. Indeed, goodbye, Mrs. Kittredge. Goodbye, kids. So I have no idea who Mr. Hugo is. He doesn't appear in any of the kit books. Uh, he is clearly a character made up for this game. Well, that's strange. Where do you think Hugo's going so early, Mother? Now, now, Kit, that is none of your business. I bet he's found a job, hasn't he? Maybe Dad could find work in the same place. Kit, I don't want to hear any more about this. Now, why don't you go start your chores? Yes, Mother. I don't care if it's none of my business. If I can help Dad get a good paying job, I'm going to do it. I don't know anything about Mr. Hugo's job except that he leaves early in the morning for it. I'm definitely sure someone in the house can provide some clues. All right, so what's our mystery challenge? Ask people about Mr. Hugo's secret job. Cool, let's do that. So let's see, this is the the dining room. And is this one of the nurses or is that Mrs. Howard? It's Mrs. Howard. Oh, kid, did you come to see the doily as well? Doily? What doily? The doily in the kitchen, it's absolutely beautiful. No, I didn't even know we had a doily. I was coming to ask you if you know where Mr. Hugo works at. No, I don't, but I hope there's an extra job for my husband. Then my little Lammy and I could move out and have a home of our own. I hope so, Mrs. Howard. I hope so. I hope there's one more for Dad. Yeah, so kind of a tragedy. Her husband moved away to Chicago because he thought that would be better on her and his child. You know, he thought they could, uh, they could handle life by themselves with one less mouth to feed. And then they never really heard from him again. So, yeah. Or at the very least, we didn't hear from him after... This must be the doily. This must be the doily Mrs. Howard was talking about. It's beautifully made. Mother might know where it came from. Uh, we haven't heard anything about uh, Mr. Howard since book number two. So it's possible he came back at some time during book three through six. And it just wasn't mentioned. Hey, Squirt, what are you up to? Hey, Charlie, I'm trying to figure out where Mr. Hugo goes so early in the morning. You wouldn't by any chance know where he goes, do you? Sorry, kid, he gets up way too early. Even for me. <laughs> okay, bye, Charlie. Mother, you are already not... I already know you're not going to help. Mother, where do we get the doily? Isn't that nice? Mr. Hugo gave it to me as a gift. He got it at the general store. Where would he get the money for something like that? I wonder if he works at the general store. Maybe that's how he was able to spot the doily. Kit? Sorry, I know, it's none of my business. Thanks, Mother. Maybe Mr. Hugo said something to the storekeeper. Yeah, I should check that out, and I think this is added to my to-do list. Uh, ask the storekeeper. Okay, so we're gonna go to the store, but it looks like we still have... Talk to people on my to-do list, so let's talk to everybody. Ah, uh, Mr. Peck. Hello? Oh, whoa, kid, what can I do for you? What do you think of Mr. Hugo? He's a good man. After all, he loves classical music. He's been leaving awfully early, though. I noticed that, too. Do you know where he goes? He told me once he worked as a bellhop. Maybe he goes to the hotel. Thanks, Mr. Peck. That's a lead worth following. All right. Let's talk to Nasty Uncle Hendrick. I'm sure he has some thoughts. How many quarts are in a gallon? Four, Uncle Hendrick. Meh. What do you want? 
we're, well, what do you think Mr. Hugo does early in the morning? I don't know, and it's none of my concern now. Go away! Yes, Uncle Hendrick. Ugh. Well, that guy's a jerk. I still need to ask people about the secret job, so let's go upstairs. Well, or maybe one of the people I need to talk to is somehow uh, outside, like in the backyard, maybe? Then I'll let's check this bedroom. It belonged to a guy. This is where Mr. Hugo's staying. Oh yeah, okay, so uh, it belonged to somebody else in the previous case, but now it's Mr. Hugo's. Okay, I wonder what happened to the previous tenant. There's nothing interesting here. There, There's nothing interesting anywhere, is there? Nothing interesting here. Okay. There's nothing interesting here. Kit, what are we trying to find? Because I, I am tapping on everything and you are finding nothing. Gosh, there are fancy coats he has in here. I've always seen Aunt Millie washing his coats. Maybe she knows something about his job. Okay. She washes... Doesn't she wash everybody's laundry, though? I feel like Aunt Millie washes everybody's laundry, so maybe, maybe that doesn't mean anything. Oh, there's a fancy coat. Um, let's talk to the nurse. Hey, do you know where Hugo's going to? I'm sorry, Kit. I usually come home so late, I hardly get to talk to Mr. Hugo. Okay, thanks, Miss Finney. And maybe Sterling's in his room. Uh, nobody's in Mom and Dad's room, right? Where's Dad? Dad's out looking for work, I bet. Trying to find a job. Or he's at the local library doing nothing of particular interest. Maybe just reading books. Hey, Sterling, what are you up to? Hi, kid. I'm practicing drawing pictures. I'm trying to get better at drawing people's faces. Neat! I want to ask you, have you noted Mr. Hugo? Uh, he's leaving awfully early nowadays. Yes, I have. I, I heard he's working at the butcher shop, but nobody, nobody's really sure. He won't say exactly where he goes. Well, I found out. I I'll go to the butcher shop and ask. Bye, Sterling. Hmm. Alrighty. And then... Let's check our list. I still need to ask people about Mr. Hugo's secret job. So upstairs we go, trying to find Aunt Millie. And if she's not upstairs, I'll just look uh, outside. I bet we can change Kit's trunk. You know, like, change her outfit. Let's go with this one. I don't think I like this one very much. Oh well. Maybe if I could see it from the front instead of the back. Ah, okay. Let's see, there was a run button. That's right. Kit can run through the house. Let me, let me use the run button when we're outside. Hey, there's Dad. There's Dad. Maybe I need to talk to him. Hey, Dad, do you know anything about Mr. Hugo's job? Aside from the fact that he leaves very early for it, I really don't, honey. Okay, thanks, Dad. Thanks for nothing. Aunt Millie, you're in the backyard with Grace. That's great. Hi, Aunt Millie, what you doing? Well, hello, Margaret Mildred, just hanging up the wash. What do you think of Mr. Hugo? I think he wears a mighty fine coat. I just finished hanging it up, although he's rather persnickety about having me clean it. How so? Well, every time I'm about to gather everything up, he insists on having me warn him so he can empty out his pockets. That's weird. Do you know what's in them? Haven't the foggiest. I bet there's something in Mr. Hugo's room which would tell me where it is. Well, where do you know? Do you, where do you think he? Do you think you know where he goes in the morning? He's a theatrical sort of chap. Don't you try the theater? Thanks, Aunt Millie. Bye. Gosh. Everybody has a different idea of where Mr. Hugo's working. He's working all over the downtown area. I guess I should head there myself, try to figure out if any of these places are real. Before I do that, I'm going to check Mr. Hugo's room, because that's probably the easiest. Oh, well, was there something about inspecting the clothesline? Inspect his coat on the clothesline, huh? It's right here. I need to get closer. Maybe I'll, I'll stand on the other side. That way... Aunt Millie is not in the way. Oh, you're not close enough yet? 
There we go. That mean, but that must be Mr. Hugo's coat, the one that Aunt Millie mentioned. Maybe there's a clue in one of the pockets. And? Ouch, it's sharp. I guess that's what I get for snooping around. But why would Mr. Hugo be carrying needles in his pocket? Back inside, we're gonna go back to Mr. Hugo's room. I thought I already searched it, but it doesn't hurt to search it again. Running up the stairs, and uh, everything's just like, just kind of a blur if you're running really quickly. Nothing interesting here. Maybe that closet again. Okay, let's go to the armoire. I thought you're very close to the armoire already, kid, but I guess I was wrong. There we go. Aunt Millie says she has to warn him every time she's washing his coat so he can empty his pockets. What doesn't he not want to be washed? Ugh. I'm sorry, I got a little tongue tied there. It's only spools of gold thread, but why would he be carrying spools of gold thread? Oh my gosh! He's Rumpelstiltskin! Wait a minute, thread? Needles? That means there should be... There should be what? I can't see anything. A sewing kit! He even has shears and a thimble, just like mother's. But there aren't any tailor shops around town anymore, so where's he going early in the morning? Interesting. It's, it's like he's a tailor, but he's not. Okay, what's next on my to-do list? General store, theater, butcher shop, and hotel. Maybe we should check the sewing machine downstairs. It's near Uncle Hendrick. However, I bet she won't have anything to say. We'll, we'll try. This sewing machine, it's hard to see. Well, oh, 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 the walls are disappearing. Mother didn't want it in the living room because it's too noticeable, but I think it's great. I think it's great to have the whole family together in one room. Yeah, I can see why Kit would think that. Okay, let's go downtown. Let's see, was this downtown or was this school? This is school. Let's let's not go to school. Oh ho, one of the neighbors. Hello, Kit. Having a good day? I am. Thank you, Miss Amanda. I'm trying to talk to this neighbor. Hello, I'm standing right in front of you. Hello there, Kit. Hi, Miss Victoria. I'm sure I'll have more eggs later. Alright, let's see where this goes. This is downtown, right? Maybe... Let's see. I do remember seeing a butcher shop somewhere. Oh, this looks like a hotel. Let's talk to this guy, right? He looks like a valet of some sort. Excuse me, sir. Yes, what is it? Does a man named Mr. Hugo work here? Hugo, huh? Never heard of him. And we don't have any jobs available, so don't ask! Hey, there's no need to be rude. <sighs> I'm sorry, little girl, but I get tired of beggars coming around here every day. We'll be lucky if the whole hotel doesn't close down soon. You best get on home. Times are tough lately. No one could afford to pay anyone else. But that just makes me more curious about where Mr. Hugo's going. Alright, so it's not working there. And I, I am getting stuck because there's a hole in the way. Let's see where this woman is. Downtown shopper. Excuse me. General store. Lunch! Well, I wouldn't mind some lunch myself. But let's do the general store because its door is open. Kit and Aunt Millie do visit, I don't know if it's a general store or a grocery store, one of the two, in book form. Excuse me, does a man named Mr. Hugo happen to work here? No ma'am, just me, my husband, and the stock boys. Well, can you tell me if you remember someone buying this doily from here? Nope, can't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just fooling with you, young lady. I can't tell you if I sold someone this doily because I couldn't have sold it. We've never sold any that look like this one. Really? That's strange. 
Let me take a closer look. Whoa, now! Actually, I recognize this gold thread used around the edges. We sell it for eight cents a spool. Good quality stuff. Mmm, have you sold any of it lately? Yeah, just the other day. Can't remember exactly who bought it, though. Sorry. Okay, so Mr. Hugo was hiding gold thread and uh, the gold thread's in this fancy doily. That's okay, you've been very helpful. Thank you. So maybe when he said he actually bought the doily at the store, what he meant was he bought the gold thread for the doily at the store. Oh man, those sweets look tasty. Wow, there are so many kinds of cookies. Yum. Excellent. So there's the bakery. It is closed. Oh, poor bakery. Drugstore. This place is out of business. I don't even know where it is. Let's see. Was Mr. Hugo working at the drugstore? No, this is the butcher shop. This is the butcher shop. Let's ask. Good morning! Can I interest you in some pork chops? They're fresh. Ah, uh, that's okay, thank you. Do you have any new employees here? Nope, just me and my sons. We've been working here for years! Okay, thank you anyway. Goodbye. Let's see, next is the theater. The theater is our last guess. Oh, there's a hardware store. Yeah, there's a theater. Let's see, do we talk to the man outside the theater? Hello? No, we do not. Welcome to the theater. Just one ticket for you. Actually, I had a question for you. Have you seen a man come through here about six feet tall, has dark hair, friendly and quiet? I'm sorry, young lady, but we have dozens of people come through here every day. There's no way I could just remember just one. Well, he might work here. His name is Mr. Hugo. Does that sound familiar? Sorry, there's nobody working here with that name. Rats. Oh well, thanks anyway. Huh. The Miley's have gone anywhere. I should go home, figure out what to do next. Go back to the attic and figure out what to do next. Okay, that is uh, our next chore. Let's see, I wonder what happens when I run down here. Oh, does that take me to the school? I don't know, let's check the map. Upscale residential neighborhood near the city. I mean... Maybe it just loops me back around. Or not. Hmm. Well then let's go back the way we came. Fortunately there are no automobiles on the road today. I think this is the exit. No, that's not the exit. Hmm. Be nice if there were signs or something pointing the way. I mean, there are street signs here, but those don't help. Here we go. Alright, back home. Woo! Running in circles! Uh, I mean, uh, going back to my attic. I specifically have to go here to the attic. There's no sign of Mr. Hugo at the butcher shop, the theater, or the hotel. None of the boarders know anything. Where could Mr. Hugo be that early in the morning? Kid, I need your help in the kitchen. Coming, mother. Well, I guess I'll figure something out later. Now I get to do mom's chores. It's so hot up here, I can't sleep. But that's great. Oh, this is the next day. That's great, because now I'm up early enough to find out where Mr. Hugo's going. I'll need to hide in the hallway before Mr. Hugo leaves, and follow him once he's gone. Well, why don't you just hide in the bushes outside? That'd be easy. Okay, so hide in the hallway. Let's see if we can find a good hiding spot. Ah, you need to go down the stairs, kid. He is. Oh, I thought we were going to have a challenge where we find a hiding spot and, uh, you know, we have to tap on the hiding spot to hide there and see if it's good enough. 
Sort of like in Nancy Drew warnings at Waverly Academy when you're trying to hide from Paige, the RA. It could have been a fun little hiding challenge. There he goes! Now I'll just have to follow him without him seeing me. I'll have to be careful. So, well, I get to control Kit here. Okay, he went down that way. Oh no, the ground is... The ground is sky? There he goes. Okay, so I'm walking slowly. Okay, this time he turned right. Looks like he's heading downtown. Well, you know, sneaking after him isn't very interesting when we can't actually see him. Okay, there he is. He's going wherever that is. Yeah, Kid is doing all the sneaky work in the scenes. Yeah, see, that would have been a cool challenge to, uh, like, sneak after this guy without getting caught. And everything's disappearing. Oh my gosh. No wonder it's the Great Depression. Half the town disappears every three seconds. Yeah, I'm sorry to be a complainy pants, but this was not a fun challenge of chasing after Mr. Hugo because we really didn't get to chase after Mr. Hugo. We just got to watch as Kid walked slowly behind him. Are you gonna go inside there? The door is locked. Well, at least I know where Mr. Hugo is going. Maybe there's some clues around here. What does our map say? He's in this upscale residential area. Okay, well, let's talk to this woman here. Maybe she knows something. Excuse me, do you know who lives in this house? A lot of people, apparently. I see them coming and going all the time. Do you know what they're doing? Why do you ask? Um, I think a friend of mine comes here, and I'd like to know what he's doing. About six feet tall, has dark hair, friendly, but rather secretive. Have you seen him? Oh, I'm so terrible with faces. Maybe if I had a picture, I'd recognize him. Was there anything else? I don't want this lady to know I followed Mr. Hugo without him knowing about it. I guess I need a picture of Mr. Hugo, but where can I get it? I'll be back later with a picture of the person I'm looking for. Goodbye until then. I bet we have to get our buddy Sterling to draw a picture of him. We did that in an earlier case. Sterling drew a picture of someone. As opposed to us, like, getting a photograph. Hello. Okay, hello, woman. That's her name, and it doesn't look like there's anything to uh, talk to her about. I'm sure she has a real name, though, not just a woman. I'm not seeing any clues. The door is still locked. I'll need to find out another way. Well, let me check my to-do list. The to-do list is get a picture of Mr. Hugo. So really, we're not looking around for clues here. We're just getting the picture for this woman. Okay, running back home. I mean, sometimes in mysteries, or mystery games, or mystery puzzles like this, they'll generally have like three or four clues for you to find, and only one of them is the important clue. In this case, it seems like uh, the puzzle was find the one clue out of one. There's only one clue here, find it. All right, let's run up to Sterling. He's usually in his room all day. Sometimes he comes out of his room to play baseball with Kit. Hi, Sterling. I have a favor to ask you. Think you could draw me a picture of Mr. Hugo? I want to show it to people when I ask about him. Sure, let me just get my paper and pencils. Scribble, 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 scribble. There, it's done. What do you think? Wow, you even got the mole in the right place. It's perfect, Sterling. Thank you. I didn't know Mr. Hugo had a mole. Where is his mole? Okay, bring a picture of Mr. Hugo to the lady who lives next in the mystery house. I'm 
trying to get out of the house. Okay, there we go. We did it. And now I'll just run all the way back to that lady. Oh wait, this is the, uh, the hobo camp. There's our buddy Will! Sorry, I went in the wrong direction. Let's talk to Will anyway. Oh, this is Smiling Sawyer. Hi there, blue eyes. How would you like to shine your new nickel? I'd love a nickel! Well, slow down. You gotta earn it first. What I need to do. All you gotta do is deliver a message for me. A little neighborhood beyond uh, downtown. Pretty lady who lives there named Miss Clara. She and I have a bit of a, let's call it a misunderstanding between us. So I just need to tell her you're sorry for something. Yep, tell her Samuel Sawyer says he's sorry and give her this note and I'll give you a nickel for your help. How will I know if I found the right person? Just mention my name, that'll give you your answer. Well, okay. See you later. Okay. We got a job, everyone! That's fancy. We need to go in the ritzy neighborhood downtown. Great, we were going there anyway. Oh, post office box got in my way. So maybe Miss... Maybe she's one of these women here. Is that Mother or Miss Howard? Are you Miss Clara? May I help you? Do you know Mr. Samuel Sawyer? I sure do! He'd better never show his face around here again! I thought hobos were above such carelessness, but he went and trampled my prized flowers! That's what this is about? A flower bed? My prize winning flower bed, I'll have you know! Samuel helped him... Samuel himself helped me tend to it. Then why would he ruin your flowers? It sounds like this is all a big misunderstanding. He wanted me to give you this note. Maybe it explains things better. Well, I'll be! This note said he didn't ruin my flowers, a neighborhood boy did! He says he caught him red-handed and told him to scram, which he did, but then I showed up and thought Samuel did it, and then I scared him away. See? It's just a misunderstanding. And he's offering to help me replant them if I'll stop yelling at him whenever he comes by. Oh, how could I have been so terrible to him? Tell me he's welcome back anytime. I need to replant my prize-winning flowers, after all. Okay, we have repaired their relationship. That is wonderful. Let's talk to the woman. Here's a picture of that friend of mine. You recognize him? Oh, yes! Now I remember. He goes in there every day, early in the morning. In fact, I just saw him leaving not too long ago. Rats! Just missed him. Can you tell me anything else about that house? It'd mean a lot to me. Well, I'm not one for gossip, but I see people go in and out of that house all the time, mostly women, and many of them are carrying old clothes and fabric. Who knows what goes on in there? Well, we know this guy is very good at sewing, so maybe he's repairing old clothing. I think I do. I just need to talk to Mr. Hugo about it. Thank you so much, ma'am. Goodbye. Well, I think that might be the solution to the mystery. I don't know. We'll find out. I do want to uh, talk to the hobo first before going home. He said he'd give me a nickel. I don't know what we can do with the nickel. Maybe buy some of those sweets that we saw at the general store. Yum yum. Take left here. Hobo jungle. Hello again. I found Miss Clara. I think your misunderstanding's all cleared up now. <laughs> Thanks, little Miss Blue Eyes. Here's the nickel I promised you. Thank you. Wait a minute. This isn't a real nickel. Nope, it's a hobo nickel. Look, it's got a little picture card on it. The bank won't take this if I try to help my parents save their house with it. You tricked me! No, I did it. I promised you a nickel, and that's what you got. I haven't got any other kind of nickel. What can I do? You can try being honest. Bye. You guy's a jerk. Fooling little girls with fake nickels. And, uh, is Ruthie next door? Like, where's Ruthie? Ruthie, can I visit you? Are you in this case? No, she's not. Let's check my to-do list. It says talk to Mr. Hugo about his job that will solve the mystery. Great. We're at the end of this case. No, no, no. Ran, ran the wrong way. Ran the wrong way. Let's go backwards. No. I'm having trouble. Don't worry. Here we go. Run, run, run to home. Oh, 
is Mr. Hugo. This game really does love that animation of Mr. Hugo looking left and right. Gah! Oh, it's you, kid. The other boarders have told me you're trying to find out where I, what I do every morning. Hello, Mr. Hugo. You have to admit you are being pretty mysterious about it. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, aren't you a spirited girl? Tell you what, little miss, how about we play a game? If you can guess what I do every morning and show proof of it, I'll confess. You're on, Mr. Hugo. All right, mystery solving mode. Mr. Hugo, I think I know what your, your job is. All right, so let's take a look. The neighbor sees women uh, going in and out of the house with fabric. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if the mystery house counts as evidence. But the sewing kit... The sewing kit looks like it counts as evidence, right? I don't know, because we've got more than one thing about the doily, right? So, like, the gold thread? Yeah, see, this gold thread would work with that doily piece of evidence. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to the mystery house. Let's, let's do that. Let's do these three. One of each type of evidence. Okay, the neighbor is onto something, and the sewing kit's important, but the last clue is not. Ah, oh, no! So, uh, let's see. Doily. Let's just try these three. Sewing kit's important. Let's see, we know it's soil sewing kit and mystery house that's important. Let's figure out. Wait, do we know mystery house is important? Like, maybe we don't. And maybe the gold thread's important. Let's try that. Gold thread on the doily is important. Wow, really? Okay, let's do this. We found a three. Mystery house is important. The sewing kit is important. And then uh, the gold thread is important. Sewing kit, gold thread. Maybe I messed up on something. Okay, sewing kit and gold thread. Ah! Gold thread, neighbor sees women, and sewing kit. Go. Mr. Hugo, I think I know what your job is. Hmm, really? And how do you know that? The first real clue was this doily you gave to Mother. Like I told your mother, I got that at the general store. But you couldn't have. The shopkeeper said she doesn't sell that kind of doily. But she does sell the thread it's held together with. Um, maybe she just doesn't remember it? I don't think so. After all, it matches the thread in this spool. Well, where did you get that? It was part of the sewing kit that you kept hidden in the armoire in your room. You went through my sewing kit? Now, kit! And not sewing kit! Kit as in you, Kit Hitterich! I'm sorry, Mr. Hugo. I know it was wrong of me, but I really wanted to know what your job was because I was hoping my dad could work there too. Once I found the sewing kit, I had a pretty good idea of what you were doing, but I needed more proof, so I followed you when you left the house. You followed me? Young lady, really? The neighbor of your... Uh, the neighbor of the house you go to says that she sees women coming and going out all the time, carrying fabric and old clothes. With the rest of the evidence, I'm willing to bet there's a sewing machine in that house. I... Uh... You're sewing, aren't you? You're making doilies, clothes, and other things, and then selling them! Looking right, looking left. Shh, please, kid, keep your voice down. What's the matter? I don't want anyone to find out that I'm sewing slips and... ladies' drawers for a living. What will people think? But the things you make are beautiful, Mr. Hugo. The doily you gave Mother was so well done, it could have been bought from a store. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, I suppose you're right. Well done, young lady. You solved the mystery. After I lost my job, I desperately needed to work. I knew how to sew, but I never could have afforded a sewing machine myself. 
Luckily, I found a group of women who all shared the same sewing machine. They allowed me to join their group, but I had to use the sewing machine early in the morning when they weren't using it. In return, I gave them a portion of the money I received from selling the things I made. Will you promise not to tell anyone? If that's what you really want, but I have a better idea. See what you think of this. This slip is for you, Miss Finny! This dress is for you, Mother! Oh, and we took these bloomers and added lace to the legs, Aunt Millie! These are wonderful, Kit! How in the world did you get these? Mr. Hugo might be better able to explain... Uh, yes, actually, I, uh, made them! You made these? My land! I hope you don't think I'm being too forward. I just wanted to thank you all for taking me into this house. Well, I think it's a wonderful gesture. You do beautiful work, Mr. Hugo. I've got a trunk full of clothes you can work on anytime. Why, thank you! Hmm, actually, Mr. Hugo, I do have a few sheets that could use some work. I see, well, I I'd be happy to help. Wait just a moment, Mr. Hugo. Do you think you could help me fix my nurse's uniform? I, uh... Oh, I just remembered! Can you work with that? Uh-oh. Maybe Mr. Hugo was better off keeping his work a secret after all. <laughs> Everybody wants Mr. Hugo to make stuff for him. Oh, and it's funny. He didn't tell anybody where he was working because he's embarrassed that he sells ladies' underwear for a living. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, that case is closed. Thanks for watching my video, everybody. Next time, I'll tackle mystery number four.